Let's go ahead and integrate this. And you see that the integral right here is a rational expression, right? And the degree on the top is just 1. And the degree on the bottom, we have 3, right? Because x times x times x will end up x to a third power. So we can go ahead and do the partial fraction. And you see that all the factors in the denominators, they are all linear and they are all different. Therefore, we can use partial fraction by the cover up method. So first, let's go ahead and set this up. We know this right here can become three little fractions, right? So this is going to be the first one, x minus 1. On the top, we just have a constant, and let's put on a. And then for the second one, we know the denominator will be x minus 2. And let's put on b on the top. And the last one, it's going to be c over x minus 3 dx. And our goal at the moment is to find out what's a, b, c, right? And I'm going to show you guys with the cover up method. And this is how we are going to do it. So I want to find out a first for you guys. To do so, you see that the denominator for a is x minus 1, right? I'm going to go to the original. I'm going to cover the same denominator. This is what I'm going to be looking at, OK? And let me write it down right here for you guys. a is going to be right here. I have to remember to let x equal to a number. OK, I covered this up. You have to ask yourself, how can you make x minus 1 equal to 0? Well, pick x is equal to 1, right? So let me pick x is equal to 1, and I will plug in 1 into the rest of this x right here. So a is going to be, on the top, we have 2 times 1, and then minus 1, right? Over, this is out already because we covered it up. We will have 1 minus 2, like this, times 1 minus 3. And now we can just, of course, work this out. On the top, 2 times 1 is 2, minus 1 is just 1, over 1 minus 2 is negative 1, 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Negative 1 times negative 2, we have positive 2. Therefore, we know a is equal to positive 1 half. And now let's go ahead and do the same for b. For b right here, this is going to be, you see, the denominator for b is x minus 2. That means I have to come here, cover this up. And how can I make x minus 2 equal to 0? Well, let's go ahead and let x equals to 2. And now, plugging 2 into the rest of this x right here. So we will have 2 on the top times the x, which is 2, and then minus 1, right? Over 2 in this x, we have 2 and then minus 1. This is out already. And then we plug in 2 into this x, so we will have 2 minus 3, like this. And then, of course, let's just go ahead and work this out. 2 times 2 is 4, minus 1 is 3, over, on the bottom, 2 minus 1 is 1, and then 2 minus 3 is negative 1, so this is what we have, right? And at the end, you see 3, minus, 3 over negative 1, this is just negative 3, like that. Last one, for C. Okay, I'm going to cover this up, right? And you see C is going to be, I have to let x equal to, how can I make x minus 3 equal to 0? 3, right? So let x equal to 3, and plugging 3 into these x right here. So we will have 2 times 3, and then minus 1 over, and then this right here will be 3, so let's put that down, and then minus 1 times 3 right here, and then minus 2. And this is out already, because we covered it up. And now you see, this right here, just work this out, 2 times 3 is 6, minus 1 is 5, over, 3, time, uh, 3 minus 1 is 2, and then 3 minus 2 is 1. 2 times 1 is, of course, just 2. So these are the A, B, C values. And now you see, A is 1 half, B is negative 3, and C is 5 over 2. And that's the partial fraction by the cover up method. So at the end, let's just put down the constant multiple first, and then let's integrate, right? So for the 1 half, we can just put that down. So we have 1 half. And to integrate 1 over x minus 1, and this is x to the first power, it will be ln absolute value of x minus 1. And the derivative of x minus 1 is just 1. So dividing by 1 doesn't matter. This is what we have for the first term. Next, this is minus 3. Let's put that down first. And then this is, we have to integrate 1 over x minus 2. We'll end up ln absolute value x minus 2. And the last one, 
5 over 2, you know that's the constant multiple, so let's write that down. This is plus 5 over 2. And we have to integrate 1 over x minus 3. We will end up ln absolute value x minus 3. And then we are all done. So let's put a plus c. This right here. That's it.